With the end of the first quarter of the school year, the Hallsville R4 School District hosted the fall parent-teacher conferences at the primary through the high school buildings. At the primary and intermediate buildings, parents met with their child's teacher to discuss grades, expectations, and any other concerns. For Tanya Schleter, this was her first time as a parent going through the conferences. I was a little nervous, actually. I didn't know what to expect. I was most looking forward to seeing how he behaved here with her as later in the class without mom here to transition, you know, from home to, to school. At the middle school, students have more teachers throughout the day for their various subjects, so parents could visit the teachers they wanted to see, as well as have the opportunity to discuss the recent change from traditional letter-based grades to standards-based grading. It's an opportunity to visit with the teacher and get a clear um, understanding of what their expectations are, be able to communicate our expectations and how, how we can work together to help Ben. At the high school, the setup for the student conferences is somewhat different. Throughout the quarter, high school advisory classes work on creating a student portfolio. This portfolio is then shown to the parents and the entire conference time is led by the student. For Bridget Crabtree, this style of conference opens the door for new conversations as she keeps track of her daughter's grades online through the parent portal. So we can go online and check all the grades and all the homework and stuff's on there so we can kind of keep track that way too. Makes it a little easier. I like the parent-teacher conferences so that she can explain what's going on in class and what she thinks she needs to work on more and what she's excelling in. I think I like student-led conferences because I get one-on-one, -on -one, like get to talk to my parents more about what I'm doing wrong and what I'm doing right. The student-led conferences are also popular with their teachers. I think student-led conferences are a real benefit here at Hallsville because it gives the kid a, a chance to show what they know and to show that off to their parents. It's great for teachers because that's the whole point. We really want to see what kids know, and so we can sit there and watch that too. It gives us a chance to meet the parents and talk to them specifically about things that their child is doing in our class, which is good for teachers because we get a chance to tell them about all the great things their child is doing, but it's also good for the parents because it gives them a chance to see that their child is being successful and in the areas where they might not be successful, ways that they can improve that. I really enjoy about it is just watching the conversations between the parents and the students. Usually when you have just the parent-teacher conference, you get under 10%, and last year we had 77% participation. The other thing I really like about student-led conferences is it puts a responsibility of leading, leading the talking, leading the conference, and explaining why the grade is where it's at. Instead of just having the teacher answer, the student is going to have to be responsible for his actions, hopefully good. As students and parents come into the high school, they are also greeted by colleges and military representatives. Guidance counselor Melissa Finley coordinates this segment and is pleased with the results and the benefits to the students. All of our kids need to know what's out there for them, and um, I know we concentrate on our seniors a lot during the school year, but I think it's good that um, our freshmen through our seniors have that opportunity to talk to colleges as well as, um, you know, the colleges come during the school day and the parents aren't there, um, and I think it's important for the parents and the students to talk to the colleges um, all at once. If you are unable to attend the parent-teacher conferences, we want to encourage you to contact your student's teacher or call the school at 573-696-5512 or visit our webpage at hallsville.org. For Hallsville Public Schools, I'm Roger Brawler.